G'day, you legend. Now, I've been hearing a lot about this thing called Chat GPT. Chat GPT. Chat GPT. Chat GPT. Apparently, it's some AI that's going to replace everyone's jobs. But I'm a tradie. I mean, surely it couldn't replace skilled labor. Or could it? So I decided that I was going to put this AI to the test. I've got this very specific current transformer installation that I'm doing for some group metering. And I'm going to ask it how to do it. So if somebody that had no skill set whatsoever could walk up and complete the job, I think I'm out of a job. So this here is what we call a group metering panel, and you're probably more familiar with it in groups of units or high-rise buildings. Okay, a little bit of context around this is that in Victoria, Australia, we have something called the Victorian Service and Installation Rules. Now, it's basically the electricity distributors getting together and setting out some guidelines around how you deal with a distribution network. And part of that is metering. Okay, that's probably a really long way of saying that these are small, direct metered. This... Behind me is big. It needs CTs. <laughs> so now I have two questions to ask ChatGTP. One about what type of metering I need and then how to install it. So let's get into it. What? Whole current metering and CT metering? Let's go see if this whole current metering actually exists. Wholesalers, electrical wholesalers. Uh, bi-directional metering. Okay, so I can't find anything about whole current metering in the SIRs, but it's actually directed me into the right direction, so half a point? Okay, I think my job is safe so far, but now let's check how to install the CTs. Go. Unbelievable. This is interesting. This is, this is kind of cool though. Okay, so as impressed as I am that I was able to actually create this procedure, I've got a couple of issues. So, stepping down from point number one is... Choose the appropriate CTs, which is obvious. Select location, sure. And the next one is where I come in. This is what I'm doing right now. Mount the CTs. CTs are typically mounted on DIN rail. Now, DIN is actually a standard, and DIN rail comes out of that standard. It's something that we mount a lot of electrical equipment on. For instance, a lot of circuit breakers clip onto a DIN rail. Now, in this instance, they're directly mounted, so... I really wouldn't be able to follow this procedure. It goes on to say connect the CTs and then also verify the installation, which of course is a really great idea. All right, let's get into this CT install. Enough! ASMR, I ran out of battery, so I had to recharge it and then I just finished it. But a bit of a trick for young legends is that if you're installing these, although we're using alternating current, they are directional. So make sure you get that the right way around. All right, two more to go. And done. Take that chat weird AI thingy that's actually really cool. Yeah. Pack up. Left a bit of a mess here. Close this bad boy up. Transition! Ha ha ha. Hey, get out of here. So, do I think that AI is going to take over skilled labor? No. Is it impressive? Yes. I mean, it's not like they're going to make tradey robots that's going to go around and listen to the AI and someone's typing in the instructions. 